Hey YouTube, I am in a 2011 Chevy Silverado 1500 and as you can see here we have an error message for the park assist system. Um, the problem here in this case after I ran the codes is that it has a sensor in the rear bumper that's out. Um, this vehicle has had numerous issues with the sensors and it's pretty common here in Alaska where we have cold weather and moisture that builds up in the sensors which eventually causes them to fail. So after talking to the owner, she did not want to spend another 200, 200 plus dollars on new sensors. So she asked if I could disable the system so that the error message can go away. So in this video, I am going to show you the process for removing this message and disabling the park assist system on a 2011 Silverado. I will make a note here that um, this only works on 2010 on through 2013 Silverados. Um, anything newer than that is the newer body style, so this will not work on those. And on the older ones, like 2007 to 2009, um, you can't do this without having the uh, factory scan tool. So anyway, the next step here is to find the fuse panel on the driver's side of the instrument panel. Pull up on the cover here, and that reveals your fuses. So the one that we're looking for is the one that says obstruction detection, which is fuse number 20 right here. If you see here, 20 is right there next to the body connector. Get yourself some pliers, you'll need them. And hopefully, hopefully I can get you a good angle here. But the obstruction detection fuse is a 10 amp fuse. It's the third up from the bottom. So there's a 15 amp in slot 26. That is not it. There's a blank spot and then the third one up. So we'll pull this fuse out. As you can see, this is the obstruction detection fuse that is now out. From here, we will put the fuse box cover back onto the side of the dash panel as we are done here. We are in the engine compartment, as you can see here. Here's the battery. The next step is to disconnect the battery for oh, five minutes or so. Uh, you want to do it from the negative terminal, which is the one in the back on this truck. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket and probably an extension to reach it. So you'll loosen that with a ratchet and then remove the terminal and keep it off of the battery until say five minutes has elapsed. If you'd like, you can go ahead and remove this reinforcement bracket. I believe those are 13 millimeter heads. Remove all four of those to get this bracket out of your way. But in a lot of cases, you can just reach underneath it and wiggle until that comes off. So we'll let this sit for five minutes or so, and then we'll reconnect the battery. If you'd like, this is a good time to clean your battery terminals. Anyway, we'll get back to you after five minutes or so. So went ahead and cleaned the uh, battery terminal and scrubbed down the uh, battery terminal here too, cable. So what we want to do now is plug it back into the battery. And then tighten them up, tighten the bolt. All right, so we want to tighten that 10, mil 10 millimeter nut until it's snug. Okay, so once the battery is plugged back in, the connection's tightened and the hood shut, you can go ahead and enter the truck, put the ignition key in the ignition, uh, shut the door, of course, and turn the ignition switch to the on position. And if we did it right, the warning in the cluster here should go away. Should not have a service park assist warning message anymore. To verify, you can go ahead and start the truck. Let the gauges prove out so all the warning lights are out. Shift into reverse and you should not get a message in the dash anymore. 
So that's how you disable your park assist in a 2010 or 2011, 2012, and 2013 Chevy Silverado, as well as the GMC Sierra. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Uh, please hit the like button if you like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And click on the bell icon so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.